Greetings YouTube and happy Friday. So today's video is going to be on everybody's favorite subject, the Power Armor Edition for Fallout 76. So what I'm going to show you is some footage of the company that's actually behind making these pieces for Bethesda. And the name of the company is, I don't know if it's Quadable Collectibles or Quadable Collectibles. But anyway, they're the ones that are behind it. And I'm going to show you some, I'm going to show you some cool things that I think is cool anyway. But before we get into that, I need to say this portion about the video. This was taken, it was taken at E3. And it was also done by Tested Magazine. So... All the video rights and stuff is reserved from the respective copyright holders and there's no copyright infringement intent on this video on my part. Something that everybody probably in the Fallout community is going to like. So the people you see in this video is Paul Francis from Quadable Collectible and Norm from Test Magazine. So this video came from them and I'm just simply re-airing it showing some cool things but actually what they revealed in the video is pretty cool the company Quadable Collectible is making a lot of figures for Fallout 76 they're also making weapons as you can see they got the full size plasma rifle they're the company behind the T-51 and Paul Francis is the person we can think for having a full size scale replica so Big shout out to him for actually getting Bethesda to actually make a full size. So this is the person we can think behind it. Not a person we can think. This is the person that we can think for that. And he's just basically showing off in this video what you could expect. The things that I have. And it's just showing you some better shots and footage of the, of the helm. So it looks pretty cool. I must say I am want one of these. I probably never will be able to get one. But I still want one. And another thing that he had here, he unveiled, is that he had a power fist. As I said, he had a plasma pistol. You can clearly see he's had some 3D printed pieces, 3D printed fusion cores, which looks pretty cool. And I really want one of these. I don't know how we can actually get in contact with his company or see their website, but I definitely want to order some of this stuff. It looks pretty cool. And something else you may not know, but they're actually building a full size replica that's going to be at Comic Con. So if you go to Comic Con, look for, I believe it's Think Geek, is where they're actually going to unveil it. But just make sure that you actually stop by and see what they're building. Because if you look at Test Magazine, I'm going to also, I'm going to leave a link below showing you their YouTube channel they already have a full-size t60 armor on it which looks pretty cool so you might want to go check them out but yeah this is pretty cool so we know we're gonna get a lot of amazing props and collectibles for this game is gonna be massive the things that we can get so I guess a lot of us are gonna have to end up maxing out the credit cards unfortunately for me mine are always maxed out but with that being said, thank you for looking at my video. Thank you for taking out the time. I am appreciative of everybody who's been looking at my videos. I've had new subscribers to my channel. I want to thank everybody for subscribing and also to help me help. I want to thank the people for helping me on my journey to hopefully get in that thousand subs. So that's what my goal is right now. Just trying to build my channel and generally increase the overall quality of my content so thank you everybody for looking at my channel and have a good weekend and so there's one thing that I did forget if there's interest in it I can make peppercore files from the game where we can make our own helms that are made out of peppercore if you're interested if nobody's interested leave me comments or something below so that I know that it's interesting because there's no point of me making content that people don't want or not going to ever view so if you would like to be able to print out your own helm then let me know and we'll do it 
So that's it.